You getting hungry? Is it dinner time? What are you making tonight? I'm exhausted. Can you make dinner tonight? Me? Okay, sure. Sure, 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 sure. I can do that. Hi everyone, this is Vince from Vaughn Public Libraries. If you're looking for help to curb some of the hunger and frustrations that come with planning a meal, you'll love these meal plan recommendations. To help give us a look, my colleague Rachel is here to show us around. The first app we're going to look at in our apps for meal planning is an app called Mealime. Mealime will create a personalized meal plan for you and also create the grocery list for you as well. Tap Get Started to get started. When you first download the app, you'll be um, prompted to choose your diet. I'm going to choose a classic diet, but there are other options in here as well. You'll also be prompted to indicate if you have any allergies or just any dislikes. And then how many servings you want each meal to create. I'm going to make four servings per meal, so I have leftovers. And then you'll see a nice illustration that'll indicate how the app will work. Let's tap got it. If you want to be prompted with a reminder to make your meal, your meal plan, you can change the time and date in here. I'm gonna turn the reminder off because I get enough reminders. And now you can build your first meal plan. So tap build your first meal plan. You can go through some of the recipes on your own and choose some recipes that you would like to make this week. You will see that some of them have that green button that says Pro. While Mealime is primarily a free app, there are some options that are only available to subscribers, like some recipes are locked behind a paywall. But there are lots to choose from if you don't subscribe as well. So you can choose your own recipes or you can tap Build a Perfect Plan and the app will create a plan for you that will help reduce food waste because it'll be using the same ingredients in different um, meals. Tap Continue. How many meals you would like to cook this week? And then you can swipe through the different recipes that are indicated. I'm going to swipe until I see something that I like. This one looks nice, so I'm going to tap build this meal plan. So once I'm ready to go to the grocery store, I can tap on groceries on the bottom and it will have added all of the ingredients needed for that meal plan into a grocery list. But I can also go through and check off things that I already have. So I already have garlic, so I don't need that. And as you scroll through, you'll probably see you'll have a lot of the um, dairy probably and a lot of spices as well. You can also manually add items to your grocery list too. So I need bread. And you can see as well in the grocery list, it is divided by department, which will make your grocery shop a lot easier. Once you're ready to cook, go back to meal plan. Now you can tap on the three dots on the top right hand corner to make a calendar of when you want to make each of these meals. Or you can just tap on the recipe when you're ready to start cooking. You can look at cookware to see what um, tools you will need. Tap on ingredients to see the ingredients that you'll need and then instructions to actually start cooking. If this is a recipe that you like, you can tap the heart and it'll be added to your favorites. There are some options that are only available to subscribers, such as the nutritional facts are only available to subscribers, but that is something that you should be able to find using a website like MyFitnessPal as well, if that's something that's important to you. And that is the app Mealime. The next app that we're going to look at for apps for meal planning is the app Tasty. Tasty is a food website created by the people behind BuzzFeed. A lot of the recipes on Tasty go viral based on how they look and food trends and that kind of thing, but they also do a good job of creating very approachable meals too. So when you first download Tasty, uh, you will see the first tab is Discover where you can scroll through some of their trending recipes. They'll be divided into kinds of trends and um, 
other ingredients and that sort of thing. You want to scroll back up to the top because you can also search tasty as well if you're looking for a recipe that it uses uh, chicken thighs you can search and find all of their recipes that way. I'm going to tap on this first one here. It says it's ready in under 30 minutes which I really like. Um, if I scroll through the recipe and I decide that this is something that looks like I want to make, I can tap on the heart in the top right hand corner to add it to my favorites. Or I can also tap on the, um, the lines with the dots. That will add all of the ingredients in this recipe to my list. If I tap on my list, this has my shopping list for all of the recipes that I've added to my shopping list. So you can see I've already been using this app for meal planning. And it creates a grocery list for me that I can bring to the grocery store. Unlike in Meal Lime, it doesn't have it all congregated in different um, sections of the grocery store and that kind of thing. So there is a little bit more work that you have to do on your part here. And it doesn't have that nice meal planning function where you can add meals to your calendar. However, um, it is nice to have one app that has all of these recipes in one place. So you can just use one app to search um, foolproof recipes. And then if you uh, tap on my recipes, you can also see some recipes that you've recently viewed and that you've already added. And when you save your recipes, it'll add it to a specific cookbook for you as well. So I can see all of the dinner recipes that I've saved. I can see all the dessert recipes that I've saved and that sort of thing. So that does make meal planning a lot easier in the future as well. The last app that I'm going to mention today is an app called Bring. Bring is actually a shopping list app. However, by using it creatively, you can also use it to help with your meal planning too. With Bring, you can search for ingredients that you need to um, purchase at the grocery store and add it. You can look at some of your recently used ingredients. You can also look at some um, popular categories of ingredients and browse through to see what you need to purchase from the grocery store. You can also add people to share your list as well by tapping on the little person in the top right hand corner and you can invite um, your friends to share your shopping list with you, which is helpful if you have more than one person in your household that does grocery shopping. However, I want to get to the part that'll help you with your meal planning. So if you tap on inspiration, the cards in the middle at the bottom, you can see some recipe cards here that have been generated from the internet by, based on um, popular food websites and magazines and that kind of thing. So I can see that top one there is from Bon Appetit and some other recent um, recipe cards will inc be included here as well. If you see something that you like, you can tap on it. It'll generate the recipe. You can see the ingredients that you'll need for the recipe and then you'll also see um, in the middle of the screen where it says see recipe that'll take you to the url so that you can see the the instructions as well so it's not integrated into the app however there will be a link to where you can see the instructions now what i like about this is you can also create your own recipe cards too and if i'm going to scroll back down up to the top that's what i did for this asparagus goat cheese pasta i created this based on the recipe from the website smitten kitchen i included the items that I'll need and I also included a URL to take me directly to the website where that recipe is kept. You can create your own recipe cards by tapping on the plus sign on the top right hand corner. So while this is a little bit more work than using Meal Lime and Tasty for your meal planning, what I like is that you can include recipes that you've already made, recipes that you know that you like, recipes that you can find from your cookbooks that you have on the shelf or websites that you use as well. So if I see a recipe that I want, I can then tap on um, add ingredients and I can add these ingredients to my grocery store list. I can also add other ingredients as well, as I said. Once you add something, like apple juice. You can also choose on the details and indicate if you want to buy cartons of apple juice, if you want to buy um, concentrated apple juice and how many you need to buy, that kind of thing. 
So while a little bit more finicky than the other apps, this is the one of the best free apps that I've found that will let you use your own recipes for meal planning. These apps are a great way to save time, money, and waste less food. If you're looking for help like I am, or simply trying to get more creative in the kitchen, make sure to try these out. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. We're going to be creating more videos like this that can show you how apps can make your stay at home life so much easier. From everyone here at VPL, thanks for watching and stay safe. Thank you.